whatever you want to call me it's up to you today we're going to get into how to use a freeze frame transition into Premiere Pro I use this on music videos I use this on one of my regular videos it's just a cool transition um, that you can actually do so yeah let's get right into it um, I have two clips here right now the, the volume is still on there just in case you're a beginner if you do not know how to take the volume off what you're gonna do is highlight your select tracks you're going to right click and you're going to go to unlink it's that simple click on your track and hit delete boom hit delete now it is basically muted okay now we don't need this whole clip this is a long clip so I'm just gonna take one section of this so I'm gonna hit C on my keyboard that stands for cut and then I'm going to hit C again on my keyboard which means cut and I'm gonna hit delete for the parts I do not want so what I'm going to do is actually cut this clip out I'm gonna cut the background and everything out and so it can actually be a cool effect on a you know as it transitions into this clip so in order for me to actually you know cut this out I'm going to use the crop effect so you're gonna search and crop go to your effects just like I did here um, and go to crop and then drag this crop effect onto the clip that you want to crop out so now if you go here to effect controls you see where it says effect controls go down the crop you click this little free draw pin boom and what you're going to do this is very important you're gonna click once you see that blue dot right there click one time now hit the swivel key right next to your one button boom that enhances it now you're just gonna cut out your object as normal okay and I'm going to fast forward this so you won't have to actually you know, see me do it. Right, boom now that we're done right I'm gonna hit the swivel key again that makes it regular I got my section that I want cut out what you're going to do now is actually hit inverted right there and you're going to go to the left key you're going to make this 100 see how it cut out that background it is that simple so these toggles right here this is how you zoom in and out of your clip you're going to go all the way till you can't zoom in no more right hit the c button and then boom click it right where you want it to be cut out you're going to go over one time on your keyboard one you click it again boom that is one frame hit the v button so you can go back to your uh, your mouse and then delete whatever you do not need which i don't need this part right here okay now here here comes the fun part all right what you're going to do is click that section that you just uh, cut out right you're going to hit the alt alt key on your keyboard and then drag this clip up see how i'm doing that drag it up now just made double is click this clip right here the one you just made double of hit the right click on your mouse and then go to add frame hold and that's going to make this clip stay in one place and you're going to drag it out it doesn't matter which way you drag it out but watch what happens See how it's just frozen now? We just made a frame hold from it. So now that you got that frame hold, what you're going to do is this. You're going to drag that next clip over. What we're going to do to make this more presentable is we're going to actually make our clip a little bit smaller, the one that we added the frame hold to. So what you're going to do is click on that clip, go to scale. See where it says scale? It's at 200 right now. You don't need that. We're going to scale it down. Go go on this clip right here. And then go to crop and delete that crop. Because I want that original, that original setting. See that? And then also for this bottom clip, I don't know why I did that, but you gotta crop that as well. Crop that. 
So now, yep. Yeah, just change the background. Boom. That easy. So what you're gonna do, you want your photo to look like this at the end of the day, right? Because you wanted to transition into this video. So what you're going to do is go to the last frame, click the top clip, go to scale, and go to position. And these are called keyframes. You're going to click both of those and then leave the leave it at its original state right there. So at the end of the day, it's going to go back to this original state. Now we're going to go to beginning of this, click it again top, and we're going to scale this down. It's still it's still a keyframe, you see? And it made a whole nother keyframe. So we're gonna scale this down. Yeah, I like 95. We're gonna move this position as well, right? Move the position, move it over here some. Design the way of that. Now, it looks a little funny how it just, you know, pops in like that. I don't like it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna fade this in. I just don't, I just don't want it to pop in like that. You see how it just pops in? I want it to fade in. So what I'm gonna do to help it fade in, I'm gonna hit the top clip that I want it to be faded, and I'm going to actually keyframe it at 100% because I want it to come to 100%. Go all the way to the bottom, right? And then you're going to drag it all the way down to zero. Now, that we, what we got is it fading in. You see that? And then boom, it comes right into the new clip. That is called a freeze frame. That is all you have to do. Now if I play it back, boom. See how it goes into the next clip? It's that easy. Now to actually add like, you know, cool effects to it, that is up to you. All you have to do is go to your effects tab and then drag whatever you want, like all types of effects onto this clip. So what you want to do, if you want to add any other effect to this freeze frame, um, you can go to your, you know, presets or you can go to the re regular transitions or any type of video effects and you can drag it onto your clip. So what I did is put a, a nice little cut transition, as you can see, look right here into the video. So if I actually, you know, play this back, you really don't see any difference, but it does give it that little touch to it. So that is how you do the free frame. It's really simple. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Thank you for watching my video. This is DeAndre Digital Connects, KO, whatever you want to call me. Um, this is Freeze Frame. And if you want a different video of me explaining how to use Premiere Pro, definitely let me know. I would not mind, you know, instructing you on how to use this. Um, I'm not a professional, but I am professional in my mind. All right, deuces.